This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from Diagostini. If you'd like to build along, pop along to diagostini.com where you can order one for your very own. They also have several other part work build up models that you can build for everything from cars to boats and everything in between. So I'd like to thank them very much for giving me the opportunity to build this so you can all watch and see exactly how it all goes together. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 79 of building the Ford GT from Diagostini. Uh, in this issue, we're continuing with the engine block from last time. Uh, after, of course, uh, looking at the Ford um, Puma. Hmm. I don't remember, don't know of that one. That's not a name that sounds familiar to me. Might be an American version. I don't know. Uh, it's quite a nice looking everyday car. It's all right. I can drive one of those around town. Uh, so, yes, we are doing the front cover of the engine block and the pulleys. So a little bit of uh, prep work to do. And then we shall install that. I can turn the page over. Uh, onto the block from last time. Not using the bit from last time, last time. Uh, the time before last, I should say. So this goes onto there. Uh, and then obviously ready for the other bit that we've just done to go onto the other side at some point. So uh, yeah, let's clear this out of the way and let's get it built. Okay, so I've gathered from last time, which is obviously going to go on the other side over here at some point, but not yet. Uh, we need to make some of this up first and then install it onto there. Uh, first of all, we're going to be putting that bit to there just like so uh, and that is held in place with an FP01 screw uh, which I'm going to use the last one from last pack that just goes through the top there hold that together like so uh, then this installs onto there, next to it, up there, that way around. A bit like that. And then that goes over the top of it. Like that. And then we've got two screws that will hold that all together. One sort of holds... Do that one first, actually. That holds those together. And then that holds that to that. So we need a couple more of these FPO1 screws. I didn't think I'd get away without opening the other packet for long. Let's grab one of those. Put that bit together. There we go. And then one more. Need another, another one soon, so I'm not worried that that one's falling out. That will go... like that and this one goes through the middle of the top bit hold all of that together like so uh, and then the final one of these will hold that onto there uh, that way round got these two locks there Done that wrong. May have done that wrong. Thought that was going into there, but it's not. It's not going into there. It's that one that I've done wrong. Why have I done that? Hmm. Thought that said put one through there, but I could have been mistaken. Pictures on these are not ideal, and especially for me at the moment. Oh, that bit's not through there. That back out of there. Oh, I don't need that screw on there. That bit. It's actually where that one's going to go. Hold that all together. So this must have been through that one. 
just wasn't very uh very lined up at least for me to see hopefully you can see it better than i can so we'll put that one through there to hold that together because you're not going to be able to get to that after the fact later anyway that just make sure these are secure before i put it in place and i won't be able to get to them anymore so then that's going to go on there like so we've got the two pins that line up in there and then one screw through that bit down there if I can get that lined up So that is that side of the engine put together. It looks all right. I mean, you're never going to see it, but all this being moulded instead of having a, a band around it is a little bit different, but it's okay. Um, so that's going to be on there at some point. Uh, I, the other I, won't, I won't even try and guess at the moment. Uh, we've got two more screws to put into this that are not actually going to be holding anything together yet. So not entirely certain what that's about but it says to do it and i'm sure next time i will be thankful that it's done rather than trying to do it they're obviously i assume they're going to bayonet in place if i can get the second screw out the packet i don't want to get the third screw out the packet but there we go so these just go into two holes there These are screws that have already got sort of washers built into them, so most likely they're going to just fit into something. Probably, what I've already got here. I'll tighten them down a little bit more in a minute. There's two holes there that are about the right distance apart. Yeah, that's going to go on there like that. But not quite where I thought the other block was going to go. But here we go. That will go on there and obviously will be held in place with the other side of the engine as and when that turns up in the next issue or two i would expect i haven't cheated and looked ahead but there we go so that's going to go on there and the other side's going to go on this is going to fit onto the other side over there rather than anywhere else so nearish maybe we'll figure it out we'll, when we're told what to do we'll do it that's the best way of working with these things uh, so that is that. Another issue completed. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I shall see you soon for the next one. And uh, stay safe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.